Hello folks, how are you doing? So, you snow full supermoon in Pisces and a partial lunar eclipse up today and tomorrow, depending on where you are in the earth, in the world, on the earth. Um, you can already tell it's building because everything feels a bit... Can you feel it? It's interesting. It always feels a bit all over the place. But it shows that shifts and changes are happening. And... Before we get into pulling some cards, because I'm going to be using the Moonology deck by Yasmin and Boland, um, today's um, message is about thankfulness for education. And that education starts, you know, early doors and leads into school, education, college, university, um, apprenticeships, life. Life, because the truth is every day we're at school, life is school. And every opportunity that we've had and the fact that we have had access to lessons, teaching, education, knowledge, and that we've got books, that we've got videos, that we've got teachers, that we've got um, inspirational speakers, we've got all that we have got. And the fact that our life lessons and what that has taught us. And imagine, I just want you to imagine now, if all of that was taken from your life. It'd be totally empty. So let's get to pulling the cards. It's coming up today and tomorrow with the full moon. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. I know it's not full moon in Scorpio, but it is a full moon. So it's time to release negativity. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So communicating to others, communicating to yourself as well. What is your body trying to communicate? What is our soul trying to communicate? What is society trying to communicate? What is the world around us trying to communicate? Let's keep pulling. Working through our fears. It's worked through your fears, but I'll say our. Working through our fears. New moon in Scorpio. So working through fears. And we'll do one more. A personal, is is <laughs> a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So that feels like quite a lot. It's time to release negativity. And that's that's a complex one, isn't it? Well, how do you release negativity? We, we, we trust that we are doing, that by being conscious of things, by being awake to things, by being awakened to our life, to our world, to be constantly in connection with all that is, to be thinking about past, present, future, but not in a longing or a hatred way or a but in a way of re re revelation and change to be conscious of all the different nuances to be conscious of all that the body is going through right now is is release because i think sometimes we can over complicate things um you know release and negativity can just be going to the toilet Releasing negativity can be having a meditation session, a healing session, a therapy session, a journaling session, um, cooking, crafting. That's another thing I was going to talk about. What things do you have in your life that can help you deal with the difficult? So what hobbies, pastimes, what, what things light you up? rather than things that we've used in the past in relation to addiction stuff what have we got in our lives you know giving ourselves a nice little facial painting our nails doing the makeup doing the hair going for a walk gym pottery journaling stitching weaving knitting painting drawing um card making gardening cooking baking all of the stuff again Take all that away and imagine how horrible the world would be. Take all that creativity, you know, all of it, calligraphy. So what coping mechanisms do we have in our day-to-day -day lives where 
we've dipped into stuff or we've been exposed to stuff and rather than going into the old ways of self-sabotage addiction um erratic behaviors we can tune into something else and we can self-soothe by doing that what have we got in our lives that we can help and how can that become stronger in our lives where it becomes a part of our lives it becomes a routine not just something we just pick up when life is difficult interesting working through fears new moon in scorpio again step by step is it a fear maybe it's just how you are you know you've got a fear of flying on airplanes but maybe i actually don't like flying on airplanes maybe i'm just not the type of person that should be flying maybe the holidays i have should be train holidays walking holidays holidays when i'm only a couple of miles away from home but society says you've got a fear see what i mean are they fears or are they just ways that you are where it means that you can't do a certain thing so a personal issue reaches resolution and that is personal to you. So personal issues come into resolution, either in big ways that everyone can see or personal to you where nobody can see it apart from you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.